We welcome you back to New Jersey Motorsports Park, the Loud Energy Drink 150, part of the Arca Remax Series. I'm Rick Benjamin, Scott Sutherland alongside. The pit stop shuffle puts Dexter Bean in the team block 37. As your restart leader, William Bull in that blue car, started shotgun on the field. He is a couple of laps down. Green flag goes back in the air. Bean leads him down. Allgaier is second. John West Townley, who got in a skirmish earlier in the Zaxby's Chicken 09, he's a lap down as well. Third spot belongs to Brian Silas in the 11, one of Andy Hillenberg's cars. A lot of shuffling on the restart. Watch Colin Brown. He's taken over the 99 car for Roush Fenway Racing, the Aflac Ford. He's moved up to fourth now, and he is a veteran road course driver. And what's going to happen now is if you make a mistake, somebody's breathing down your neck, they're going to take advantage of it. The 99 car looks like he shot out of a cannon. He is headed to the front. Colin Brown races regularly in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Came out of Grand Am Racing. He's still a teenager out of Texas. There's Brian Scott from Boise, Idaho in the Albertsons 25. That's one of Bill Venturini's cars. And how about James Busher in the Wintron Driver Development 32? He's right there in seventh spot. More of a short track guy. And here he is showing his stuff on the road course. Tom Hesser the third back in 22nd on lap 30. Dexter Bean likes the view here in the team block 37. He's got clean racetrack in front. Pit stop sequencing means so much in road course racing. Bean obviously stopped earlier, takes track position and takes the lead. Again, weather could be an issue here today. So he wants to run off and, and get as much of a margin as he can over Allgaier in the 16. And you got to be impressed with Justin Allgaier. Here. Yeah, I think it's a great run. Dexter Bean from West B, Wisconsin. There's no road courses there, <laughs> only a ski jump. There you go. Dexter Bean doing a great job. Allgaier with all that dirt track experience. You mentioned, Scott, the feeling of being able to slide the car, car control, especially when you're a youngster like Allgaier, that's got to be important here. You wonder if sliding the car doesn't make him more comfortable and make him feel faster. He is putting on a whale of a race. He's gained eight positions here as we get toward the midway point of the Loud Energy Drink 150. Top two starting to pull away from the field. One car on pit road. That's the Bowen Family Homes Dodge. Michael Phelps from Swanee, Georgia. Young driver deciding to pit at this point in the race. We're not quite to halfway. A lot of action all around this 2.25 mile layout. Scott Speed working his way back to the front of the pack here. And I see a lot of dust flying on the racetrack. That means that the mud has been brought out. They've got to be very careful. If you hit that at the wrong spot, you're going to go for a ride. Tom Hesser the third. Scott Speed is 13th, closing in on the Mako car. One of Andy Belmont's machines for Hesser. Scott, in this situation, when you set the race car up, we're watching those cars over that rise. The nose wants to point to the air. They nail back down quickly. You've got to have more ground clearance for road course racing and I guess more suspension travel built in also. Well these things have five to six inches of travel built in them. They can really move. The shock package is critical and that keeps the car balanced left to right. But you'll see the nose on these cars lift a lot more than you would on a short track. There's some elevation changes here at New Jersey and Millville. Even though originally this was flat ground they built some elevation changes into the racetrack because road course drivers like that. That's part of the challenge of this kind of racing. Gabby DiCarlo there in the Great Clips Toyota trying to hold Hessert off. Speed just wants to get by these two, and there's not a lot of passing opportunities. A lot of drivers were telling me coming in here, you've really only got two or three places at this track where typically in road course racing you can find a place to either dive bomb somebody down to the inside or, or make an outside move coming off the corner. Here's Speed inside Hessert trying to pick up a spot. And that is one of the favorite places on this course right there. Drive it in there, try to outbreak him, but you have to save your brakes until you can use them. Gabby DiCarlo has been off the racetrack once with some help from Michael Phelps. Is she going to give speed a lane on the inside? Yep, she leaves him some room. She knows the two car is faster. Nice move by Gabby DiCarlo. Hesser takes advantage, though, and gets alongside her as well. I think that's still a good plan. Go ahead and fall in line. Gabby DiCarlo, not a lot of laps in road course. So go ahead and get, hey, what better guy to follow than that well, yeah. two car? If you can stay with him and see him, that's the key point right there. Dexter Bean, meantime, how impressive is this in the team block entry? Out in front, and Allgaier dirt tracks that 16 coming off the last corner. Oh, that's, that's down home feeling for Allgaier. What a great run for that young man. So Bean is your leader, about 10 car lengths to the good over Justin Allgaier. Again, so impressive is young Allgaier, and he caught the eye of Roger Penske not long ago. He signed a driver development contract with Penske Racing. He'll move south and run a limited nationwide series schedule starting in 2009. May not have seen the last of him in the Arca Remax series either. Dexter Bean. We wouldn't be talking about, we would be talking about oh, that a short track. John West Townley from Watkinsville, Georgia, spins the 09 again. Already body damage on that Robbie Benton Ford. And the 45 of Michael Phelps in some trouble as well. He catches a gear. The 12 has gone off. We've got cars everywhere here 
at New Jersey Motorsports Park. That's Allie Owens from Daytona Beach, Florida. The electrifyingcareers.com entry. The other female driver in the field today. Full course yellow. Double yellows being shown from the flag stand. So we are under caution once again. Several teams decide, hey, we're going to make our second stop now. We saw the, the pit board being waved for uh, Frank Kimmel there. And you've got to wonder, can I make it all the way home from here? Can we get to the end with the fuel we've got or do I have to visit pit road?